Greetings friends and fellow cigar box guitar enthusiasts. Del Puckett here. I recently had a customer that was uh, very specific in the tuners that he wanted and the knobs. He wanted these antique restoration style tuners and the same thing with the, uh, the restoration aged antiqued um, knobs. And so he sent me a link to Stu Mac. So I ordered the parts and came up to a whopping $103. So $103 for six tuners and two antiqued dome knobs. And I'm like, what the heck? So I got to thinking, I'm like, um, maybe I should try antiquing some of these things myself. So I have a neighbor of mine who is, has basically every tool imaginable and um, he's actually doing jewelry and metallurgy. And I would just was talking with him and he said, oh yeah, yeah, bring over your, your, uh, your metal pieces and, and we'll age them. And um, so he's got different chemicals and, um, all sorts of stuff. I don't want to go into too much detail, but he had this one uh, s bottle of stuff called liver of sulfur. Liver of sulfur. And if you know what that is, then you're way ahead of the game. I just learned what it is today. Liver of sulfur. So what it does is it actually tarnishes or oxidizes um, silver and copper really well. I'm sure it works on other metals, but it definitely works on silver and copper. And so what I did is I went and got some of these shiny um, corner pieces here. Now these shiny corner pieces actually work really good because this is like a before and here is the after. So kind of see that patina there. This is, this is like mirror here. And then this is just dull and dingy and very aged looking. Same thing with the edges here, look at the edges. Um, I got some of these grommets that I use for the sound holes. And hit hit that with that and look at that. You can kind of see where it, where it resists and where it like burns it or whatever. I'm sure I could wipe it off, but it's on there pretty good. So I wanted to show you a uh, before and after on a pickup that I'm going to do. So check this out. So here's the pickup, nice and shiny. In fact, you can see those reflections that just go for days. So I am going to sand off this metal shiny surface and expose the copper underneath that. And then we're gonna go to town with this liver of sulfur. All right, so let's sand this down. copper underneath there so you can actually see some of this yellow right there and there's some yellow up here so if I go deeper into the copper then there's a different metal underneath that I have no idea what that is so there's actually three layers of metal here there's the silver you can actually see up here and the copper and then whatever this is this yellow underneath that copper so let's get some of that liver of sulfur we have some of it mixed up here I'm just getting a little Q-tip on it. And here we go. It's almost like a magic trick. Yeah, look at that, sheesh. at the back and 
Um, I'm really just experimenting here. That, you got to admit that looks awesome. Come on. Sheesh. Transforms before your very eyes. Wow. Next, I want to try my shutter hinges. Now, these are gold plated and they're nice and shiny. I use these all the time. So, what I did is I sanded it down, and sure enough, there's copper underneath that. So, Here we go again. And I Googled this stuff and it's relatively safe. It needs to be neutralized, I guess, with baking soda or whatever. But my gosh, isn't that just beautiful? way more beautiful I mean I think definitely more suitable for a cigar box guitar so as they say you learn something new every day tell you what so we got hinges sound hole grommets corners pickups and Obviously the tuners, I didn't do this, but this is, this is my goal right here. Dome knobs, there's all sorts of things you can do. So, sky's the limit, right? All right, if you like these videos, be sure to like and subscribe and comment and share and hit that notification button. And don't forget there is a virtual tip jar in the upper right hand corner of my YouTube channel. I'll see you in the next one.